We're here now with Sean Langman, who is the skipper of Naval Group, the RP69. And uh, Sean, rumour has it that you are the nation's best known and most versatile sailor. Well, I'm, I, didn't, I didn't write that script myself, but I, I do sail all manner of different boats. So I'm very fortunate in that access through my company from small little gaff rig boats through to super maxis, trimarans. Um, yeah, I've, I've really had it, had it made the last decade especially. Well, this is quite a special campaign that you've got going on here now. How do you actually decide who gets to sail on Naval Group uh, between the Australian and the French sailors? Oh, look, it was interesting. Last year, we, we won a contract, which is essentially a defence contract, to facilitate working together between France and Australia um, through the Naval Group company. Really low profile as far as the media went because Naval Group was signing their new submarine contract with the Australian government, but it was all about team building within the company. So after selecting the boat just for that job, uh, which was a job, um, got to the other end and just went, or being Hobart, got to the other end and I just went, look, this boat's got potential, um, I'd like to do better. I went back to Naval Group and said, look, uh, I really don't need to go through that whole team building dynamic again, but I think the boat's got the opportunity to do very well on handicap. So that's what we've done this year. Have you ever had any submarine moments on board Naval Group? Uh, there's a lot of water down below on this one. We actually just had a meeting just now about uh, waterproofing the boat. The boat was built as an STP-65, really around the Cairns boat, not an ocean-going boat. Mm. We've only done, oh, look, a thousand miles at sea on the boat so far. And uh, yeah, she's, um, she's pretty wet. So we're working on that, yeah, more, more like a submarine. So you've done 29 Sydney to Hobarts now. What is the most exciting start line you've ever seen? Oh look, the, the 50th by far, I was in one of the old traditional boats, so we got to go first. So we actually got out the heads like in third place or something out of 450 boats, and then all the maxis caught up and, and, uh, and passed us, so that was pretty special. So here we are 25 years on from then, I, I figured then that was my 10th race I think. I figured then that that was enough and uh, since then I, I haven't missed too many. Uh, this is the my 20th year of skippering my own boat. Um, I think I might have a rest after this one and I'm, I'm actually looking um, at another program, a boat that actually won the, the Hobart race seven times, Mourner. So I'm looking at doing a refit on her and I've spoken to Moose about getting the right fabric for, for her and sailing the boat to Scotland. So that's a whole new dynamic um, which uh, we're working on at the moment with our small boats, our little gaff rig boats, uh, getting the colour right uh, of the new sails. Uh, which is very important. Very you know, important. You're getting the colour right. Aesthetics are important. They are. Well, Egyptian cream is the colour, um, and it's difficult to get get it right. And uh, I think I've been a bit of a guinea pig. I, my little gaff rig boat, Vagrant. Um, I've had three sets of doils in the last four months, just working on shape, but also colour. <laughs> <laughs> well, no doil sounds will be able to help you out with that. What is it about this race that just keeps pulling you back in? Well, for me, I live in Sydney and, you know, being literally born on a boat in Sydney Harbour and, and watching my heroes leave on, on Boxing Day, I wanted to be part of it. I got that opportunity at a reasonably young age, at 18 years of age, and for me as a young man then, with aspiration going to the Olympic Games and not big boat sailing, it was a different dynamic. Uh, there's a lot of discipline in small boat sailing, um, offshore sailing in those those days, you know, we, we took a little hip flask and had rum, you know, like it was totally different. And, Getting to Hobart will treat it like heroes and uh, I just put it down as a hell of a way to get to a party. Um, and as time goes, has gone on, I've got more competitive about trying to do well in the race. And out of all the races I've done around the world, it's the race that I've been least successful at, to be honest. Um, so I'd like to get a, a, decent, a more decent result this year. Um, number one is probably good enough. I think that's a good one to aim for. <laughs> Well, Sean, you, you mentioned uh, that you used to watch your heroes. You are a hero amongst a lot of other sailors, up-and-coming sailors. So we really hope you get that uh, number one that you're looking for. Well, sure. That's, you know, like, it's, it's nice to be nice to be known. Um, as I said, I've been very fortunate. I think for any aspiring young yachts person, it's really about turning up. You know, the, the discipline in the sport is about the effort you put in. And uh, you might start in a position that, is um, you know less desirable than what you believe your ability is but you know turning up you'll you will get that shot well there you go if you actually make it to the start line you have a chance of winning <laughs> got great advice from sean langman well sean well uh looks like you've still got the boat uh, up on the hard there some work still to do 
I should leave you to it. Yeah, a considerable amount of work to do. We started our refit quite late this year and a lot of changes to the boat and a lot of a whole new set of running sails from Doyles, which we're excited about. Longer bowsprit, uh, Justin Ferris has worked hard on the new sail design. So we're, we're excited about the package. Uh, we're excited about the opportunity for the boat, small crew. Um, I think it's crept up to 13 now. I think Justin sort of found a few more people, but uh, I initially wanted to sail with just 10. Uh, with a lot of water ballast. So the boat uh, now this weekend, only three days prior to the race, is going to get a major workout and uh, we're giving ourselves one day afloat um, before um, we sing some Christmas carols and then go racing. Well, you do have the experience. I'm sure you'll be able to pull it off. Best of luck for this year's race. Thank you. Where was the embarrassing bit? <laughs> Nation's best known and oh, most versatile yeah, yeah. That's sailor. That's embarrassing. I wrote that, really. <laughs>